A volcano spewed lava and smoke in southwest Iceland for a sixth day in the early hours of Thursday. Raising concerns about the spread of pollution hours after its eruption forced the evacuation of a spa resort. Fountains of glowing molten rock shot into the night sky when the volcano first erupted on the Reykjanes Peninsula on Thursday. The flow from the volcano has slowed, said Rika Peterson, head of the Nordic Center for Volcanology. We had quite a heavy shower and a high output at the beginning and it dropped off quickly, but that doesn't tell us anything about how long it's going to last. The Meteorological Office warned that winds could carry gas pollution from the eruption south and southeast. The nearby Blue Lagoon Spa, which has a large outdoor pool heated by geothermal energy, was evacuated Thursday night and was said to remain closed Friday. We just went there as tourists looking for a fun day, said real estate broker Dennis Murphy, of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, who was there with his daughter. All of a sudden, the ground exploded right next to us, the 53-year-old said. They watched the sky turn red as they evacuated. There was a sense of urgency as we tried to get out of there. The staff put all our belongings in bags and said, you have to get out of here, he added. About 1,300 guests and staff were at the spa, Icelandic Daily Morgunbladet reported. Lava initially flowed from the volcano at a rate of up to 2,000 cubic meters per second, making it comparable to the last eruption in May, said Peterson of the Nordic Volcanological Center. The length of the fissure on the volcano, which has erupted six times since December, grew to 5 kilometers 3.1 miles during the day from 3.9 kilometers 2.4 miles on Thursday night, Peterson said. The nearby fishing town of Grindavik which has been threatened by hot lava and hit by earthquakes during previous eruptions, was not directly affected, the meteorological office said. The lava flow stopped near a nearby road, Peterson said. <laughs>